how you are, I'm an abandoned camp shop. There used to be a pond wall, um, see if you pond wall camp. And it's a shame it's gone to ruins now. It's been like this a few years, I think. I'm not sure how long it's been like this, but it's sad to say it's gone to ruins now. Yeah, but it's nice to come here. I've been here. So I've been here. You could say I'm the last camper, because uh, I don't know how many campers are prone to explore the abandoned place, but yeah. It's worth a check out, though. Yeah. It's definitely come to check this ruin out. But it's nice. But it's kind of sad it's, it's gone. I kind of miss it now. Down here, it's like. Oh, got a camera. You can see a knockdown bungalow right there. Just right there. Knocked a pile. A pile of bungalows. All crushed and destroyed. There's all the stuff that was in the bungalows. All down there. I can't get in here actually. There's no way I can get in. It's a shame. It's sad really. Down here is the way to, uh, um, there's a little pathway you can go down there and it leads to a Flamingo Park. There's another tour attraction. But over here, she's a bunch of bungalows, I can't cross that they're not here anymore. It's kind of standard to know they're gone. It's cool in aspect. Been to an abandoned place and a, and a sanded place, but it's all gone. Imagine, imagine this, picture this, yeah. Bungalows, big bungalows, all along here, field to play on. Um, right at the far bottom down there. Imagine there a playground, and sort of over that way, got swings. Yeah, it's really sad to see it gone. Up that way, if you see that guy. It's right up there. Here's got St Helens up top that way. Or Nettleston, St Helens. It's going that way, yeah. Oh, I can't believe it's gone. It's, it's taking it in, you know, you know what I mean? It's, t it's too much to take in. There's a public footpath to go to um, Flamingo Parkway. And this is blocked off. It doesn't matter if you move this gate or not. It's still not allowed down there. Tempting just to move this gate, just to have a further look. <sighs> Pile of bungalows. Why did the campsite disappear? It's like, to think about that, eh? I know it's out of the way, I can understand that. Look at the views you get. The view of the sea right over there. Right, right over there. I meant the truth, there's a telephone to do there. No. It's gone. It's just a red door at the end now. I don't remember a red door doing at the end, that's quite... It's not there no more. It is gone. There's the Wishing Well pub. It still looks nice though. It's still here. Shame there's a pub. But don't sell beer. <laughs> a pub, but don't sell beer. Interesting though. You know it's still here though. That's one thing. Interesting. Up there it says Pondwall Camp. It's no longer a camp. So what's the point of this sign up still? Funny up, just gonna wait for a bus here. Do every hour. I've only got about half an hour. Because I was looking around, don't forget. So it's not bad. This is near Pondwall Camp. This is the Wishing Well. There's a Wishing Well pub. And just to let you know, the money's been taken. So if you made a wish in there, your wishes have been taken away. But some wishes are still in there. I can see Tempe in there. Just running me through the cobwebs now. That's kind of sad, really, taking people's wishes. Why the seats do there? Wow. Actually documented. I'm saying I'm the last person who's been to Pondwell Camp. I know I'll be the only last person from Pondwell Camp in Seaview. Evidence has been made. I've been there, seen the place. No one can go in on after this.
this is a cut section before you get to uh, sand out. the last time on the pier. There's two, these two white huts. I think it was the second one. The first one up. No, it's one of them. No way. It's the second one. No, I'll show you. It was that one there. And now we're going in here. That's same too. <laughs> Well, I'm having lunch slash dinner. This is my view from the window. Now this is an arcade machine. I'm off to play it. This is a sign that cold weather's on the way. Gives me enough chance to get back in time. Even a pier now. Retro gaming one, time prices for. My next a modern one. Last year's one though. That's pretty cool though. This is end of day two. It's been a good day. Interesting day. An emotional day. Tomorrow is a bit of a mystery because I've got to decide what I want to do tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. You'll see.